Give me Betty Boop, you know what I'm saying? Betty Boop Boop Blue? <laughs> Betty Blue? Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It's another cozy night and get ready with me. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing great girl. I got myself a little bit of tea. This is a spiced apple tea with a little bit of Martinelli's apple juice. Get you some Martinelli's apple juice. I know most people have tried it, but it is amazing. If you haven't been here before, what we do here on Cozy Night Ends is basically, girl, we get dressed from Ruta to Hooters and we talk about a whole bunch of nothing, girl. We just chat, catch up, and do a little hair, do a little makeup, get cute, then go to bed. If you like videos like this, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you now. I'm gonna go ahead and beg now. Can you subscribe and hit the post notification bell? Because it's a good time over here, girl. My mouth is dry. Maybe I'm tongue-tied by how bad I look. Maybe I'm tongue-tied by this wig because look, come on, this time, if you can find the lace, still keep it to yourself. Look how pretty this scalp is. And can you believe that this is a full lace wig? Yeah, part it, part it. In order to style this wig, I wanted to do like more of a romantic sort of date night look. So I was, I wanted to give red lip today. Shout out to Lip Bar for the red lip. They have the best red lips. Oh my God. Give me Betty Boop. You know what I'm saying? Betty Boop Boop Blue. <laughs> Betty Blue. Before we go ahead and get into all the chatting and the makeup and stuff like that, I need to say thank you to Chris Beauty Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. So we're going to go ahead and style this wig. I'm going to show you what it looks like straight out of the box and how to work a full lace wig. And then after that, we're going to go into the face. Something very simple, easy, pretty. You know, just, you know, a little concealer, a little blush, a little contour, a little, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Then we're going to chat. If you want to get more information about this hair, please keep on watching. And then I'll be back to do the face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with how the wig is packaged. It's going to come in this Chris Beauty hair box, and inside that box, of course, you'll receive your wig, but you also receive gifts and tools to make this wig look good. So you get an elastic band, baby hair brush, comb, all that type of stuff, but you also get this gorgeous wig. Now, let me tell you what this wig is. This wig is the Real Human Hair HD Full Lace Yaki Straight Clean Hairline Wig with bleach knots. It's in the style number FLW08. It is 20 inches long and 150% density, but she is thick 150% density. Now you can see, like I said, this wig is a full lace wig, so you can part her anywhere. We're still not gonna do the ball cap method because why do we need the ball cap method? Well, we still can part it anywhere and it still looks good. Now, when I pop this wig on, you can see that the hairline is already pre-plucked. Those knots are not only bleached, girl, they are bleached honey and then when you part the hair all the way back there's like a lining on the inside it's double line for it to look like scalp in the bike girl they got you covered now let's go ahead and cover up this wig and get this hairline done we're not covering up girl we're about to make this thing look good so we're gonna go ahead and use a wax stick the she is bomb wax stick to help flatten the hairline i'm adding the wax stick to the hairline and going in with my Red by Kiss hot comb to flatten it and make sure it looks like it's growing out of the scalp. And when I tell you it was easy peasy lemon squeezy, girl, that was it, one and done. So the next step is to go ahead and cut the lace on this wig. Now this is a full lace wig. So this is gonna take a couple of steps to do. So what I like to do is take my Annie shears and I go in first by cutting that hairline around the front first and shaping it around my ears. Because the ears on full lace wigs, because I have a small head, they kind of go over my ears. So I have to be able to cut it a certain way. So we're just going to go ahead and put the wig up. I cut it around my ears first just to make sure it's the perfect shape. And then we pop the wig off and then we cut around the bike. Now the great thing about this full lace wig is that it does come with adjustable straps in the back. And it comes with combs on the inside. So I don't really have to worry about attaching the wig in the back because it still looks good. And I'll go ahead and show you that later. So in order to apply this wig, I'm going to go ahead and use the Bolt Hole Liquid Gold Gel to go ahead and lay this wig down. If you haven't tried this before, girl, I'll use it. I'll link it down below because... I use it all the time and when I tell you I fall in love with this stuff, yes ma'am, they did their thing with the boho lip liquid go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the lace. Now one thing you need to remember with crisp beauty hair wigs, especially these clean hairline wigs, is that the lace is very, very fine and thin. Don't stretch it too much because girl, you will end up with a wrinkle. 
on your forehead, girl. Botox won't be able to fix that. <laughs> so you need to make sure you don't pull it too taut because it's going to wrinkle up because the lace is so soft. So just like lay it lightly. And I still got a little wrinkle. I had to be careful, but you weren't, you weren't able to tell, girl, because I finessed my thing. So I did it all the way across the hairline. I applied the gel over the lace. And next, because it has a little bit of a white cast, I'm going to go ahead and use the more crazy lace tint that I got from Amazon as well. And I'm just going to apply it on top of the lace to make sure that blends right into my skin. For some reason, the bold hold mixed with this lace gives me a little bit more of a white cast, but it's an easy piece fix now as far as getting all of that done and melting the hairline I'm gonna go ahead and take my elastic band wrap it around the hairline and melt it on down and let that color seep on through the lace and baby when we get done with this it's gonna look good now next I need to go ahead and trim this hair now this is 20 inches long but I had to check the length, girl. Check the description box once again because I was like, girl, this is a lot of length for 20 inches. But girl, they was being generous and whatnot. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and layer the hair. Y'all know how I like to cut my ends. That's my little hack for cutting my ends. And most of the time it's even or you can't tell. The next hack that I like to do is make the hair layered at the top. And I'm not good at cutting like that. So I part the hair in the crown into three sections and I cut them down individually shorter and shorter and then for the front part I like to do a little triangle and then twist it on up and once you twist it you cut it and that's how you get a really really good layer and I point cut into it to make it look you know like layered up and stuff you know what I mean girl it, it looks like it looks like it's supposed to give like curtain bangs without the curtain bangs you know what I'm saying like it look good once you finish it. Like usually straight hair, you're not really sure how it's gonna turn out, turn out but this time, oh yeah, she ate. She ate. Now for the sides, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I just pulled the hair forward and I cut it. Girl, I'm being lazy at this point. So I'm just gonna cut it on down and I part it in three sections as well. So I do one big section, part that down into the second section and part it down into the first section and then we are done. Really, really easy. And I still get the layeration that I need without it looking choppy and chunky. And this time, like on the sides, I kind of slide the scissors down to make it look like, I don't know, layered, girl. I don't, you know what I'm saying? In the end, it always ends up looking good. So we're just going to keep layering until we're, it's complete because next we need to go ahead and get into this part and make sure it is settled in and laid down so once that's all the way done we're gonna go ahead and grab our hot comb this is the red by kiss hot comb and i'm just gonna go in and hot comb inside that part and get it flattened girl i forgot that that um wig cap and the 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 band is um thin and girl i burn my head <laughs> i burn my head but that's okay girl look at this hairline when i tell you that lace tint be tinting now i tinted her a little bit too much but she's eating that hairline is eating so we're just gonna go ahead and part all the way down the hair and section it off because next y'all already know what we gonna do we're gonna go ahead and braid this hair down see y'all didn't know what we was gonna do because this hair it has a good partation I want to go ahead and braid this hair all the way back because I don't be getting to do that all the time. I have a lot of hair on my head. I didn't realize how thick this hair was until I actually braided it. Look how hyped up that braid is, girl. It's like, it's super, super high off the head, girl. It's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and do both sides, braid it all the way back, just so y'all can see how y'all can wear this hair and the versatility of this thing. So... I braided it all the way down and I wanted y'all to see how the part looks in the back and it looks so natural. It looks so good. I wanted to go ahead and spread out a little bit more of the lace tint because the lace tint was looking a little bit more concentrated on the hairline and I needed it to look a little bit more, you know, realistic on the whole hairline. It don't look good to have a little, just a little dark strip on the front and it'd be lighting the bike girl no ma'am so we also need to define our part because obviously y'all can see my wig cap because i don't do the ball cap method but the back of that head girl you can't tell me it's not giving scalp i'm so excited about it now next we need to go ahead and customize this hairline i was gonna do no baby hairs but i was like mm, 
you know me, I need a little bit of baby hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tweezers and I'm just going to tweeze out those little hairs there and get those super duper tweezed up and make sure they look really, really small. Girl, I almost forgot what I was talking about. Make sure they look really, really teeny tiny and small. So when I lay them down, they don't look thick. I like for my baby hairs to look like they're a part of the hairline. So I did that on both sides. I just laid them on down and cut them down really short and plucked them a little bit. Girl, for some reason, my lace popped up, so I had to reapply it. But that's okay. It's an ear tab. It's easy to reapply. Not really, but all I had to do was lay down that baby hair. She was back in business. So I did that on both sides, cut them down, laid it on down. For some reason, I want to find a better way to do my baby hairs on the side because I be thinking they look too big, but I don't know how else to do them. Like, I know how I want them, but I don't know how to do them on a wig, so... That's how it looks with the baby hairs complete. And I think it looks great. It looks so cute. Now we get to get into another style on this wig. Of course, once I pulled this wig down, um, you could see that the natural texture on this yakky hair, it looks a little bit more like kinky, but when you feel it, it feels like a coarse yakky, which is two different things. Like it's two different texture textures. The crimps and the yakky are a little bit tight, like close to a little bit more close together so I just needed to blow dry it a little bit because I wanted to smooth the hair out and take some of that volume out before we curl it so I'm just going to use my Revlon what is this the Revlon one step blow dryer just to flatten out the hair a little bit and it did a doozy on it and since I, the hair was flattened out I was like why don't we just put this hair up in a bun let me go ahead and test drive this wig and see what it looks like in a bun so I just pulled the wig on top of the head and I wanted to see what it looked like from the front to the bite friend. So we're going to pull it up in a little ponytail and wrap it around and make sure it looks like a little bun. And in the front looks super duper cute. I love how it looks. It looks so realistic. But this back friend, the back, all I have is elastic band back there. That's it, girl. No one will know. Nobody's going to know. And look how it looks when I pulled the hair down. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I just make sure I pull out a few of my natural baby hairs and it looks so realistic in the back. Now we finally get to get into styling this wig. We are in our final steps to making sure this wig is complete before we put on this makeup. So of course, we have to feature my girl. This is the cheese spinning curl. We love her. She always is featured on this channel. Girl, she almost pays rent in this house because she's here all the time. I'm always using her. So I'm going to go ahead and use my cheese spin and curl to curl this hair. I'm curling away from the face in this section. And as we move up, I'm actually going to move the curls in a different direction because I have a vision in my head. I'm not sure if it's doing it, but as you can see, you know how you curl the curls downwards on the side of your head? I was like, ooh, I could do that with a cheese spin and curl. So I curled downwards to get the style that I was looking for. So I did that on both sides. Um, I just curled away from the face in the back and then I curled downwards, which is more towards the face on the sides. And I'm gonna take my Pantene air spray to set in these curls, but you know, yaggy hair doesn't hold curls. Either way, I'm just gonna spray it for good measure and we're gonna allow it to dry. It's giving very much Shirley Temple. If I walked out the door like this, the girls would be like, where are you going, girl? Church? Yes, girl. It looks like it was giving church hair, the way we used to wear our hair on, on Sundays. So cute. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and fluff those curls out. And look how pretty this hair is. It looks so gorgeous, so pretty. The curls looked amazing. The hairline is gorgeous. And I love the versatility of this wig. It's perfect for spring for the girls that want to be able to get their hair off their neck, friend. So I'll go ahead and leave a link for this unit down below. And of course, I'm going to leave a coupon code for the girlies that are interested. You know it's vacation season, so go ahead and save your coin. Now let's go ahead and get into the face and let's get a little messy. Let's chat, okay? So grab your snack. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face. I feel like I should put on a robe or something because I am cold. <laughs> Let me go get a rough girl. Ooh, okay, so the hair is giving. It's already cute. Now we need to go ahead and do the face. I need to take a sip of my tea because these allergies, girl, they are they, girl, they are beating the girls down. This is um Tivana spiced apple cider. Mm. Also, y'all will be proud of me. Guess what? <laughs> Guess who's got some 
brushes me i got two elf brushes i love elf brushes they're affordable and they get the job done i'm not a brush girly so i don't even know what i'm gonna use these for i guess i'll use it for foundation or concealer y'all know i don't do foundation so i don't know what i'm gonna use it for girl but girl i'll figure it out okay so for the base we're gonna go ahead and use the same primer that i always use it's the nyx bear with me prime set and refresh love this as a primer shout out to nyx girl Kwame. <laughs> I don't know why I'm over here being giggly because today has tested my nerves for no apparent reason at all. I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Labs concealer. I love using this concealer as a foundation because it like matches my skin tone and it's not super duper thick. I do love the Pro Longwear concealer, but I like using this, you know, like on my face. It's like my skin tone ish. Is this my skin tone? Girl, I don't know. Girl, I guess I'm gonna use my sponge. Could I use this brush? Brushes are so uncomfortable. Ooh. Let me try it. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Is this how the girls do it? Or do they put the... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is uncomfortable. I don't like how this feels, but I gotta try it out. I used to do this. Okay. This is the e.l.f powder brush so I guess it's supposed to be for powder but I feel like the structure of this brush is good for moving around wet product wow oh is that my dermatitis no that's just a foundation girl I was a little bit scared that my dermatitis was coming back hey girl what is going on girl y'all know we gotta give our weekly bi-weekly update we're gonna get a little messy today We'll do a little update, but let me just tell you what's going on mental health wise, what's going on with me. Girl, I'm a mess, okay? I can't even lie to y'all. I'm a mess. Um, did I tell y'all what, what color concealer this was? If I don't say the color or something, it'll be down in the description box below, but this is MD24 um, in the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer. Girl, shout out to Pat McGrath. So we're gonna get to blending with the back of my um, beauty sponge that I got from Beauty Supply Store. But yeah, girl, um, how am I doing? Well, had like two or three breakdowns today. It's the end of my period. And for some reason, at the end of my period, I lose my mind. I'm so over it. My hormones are a freaking mess. I just lose it. And I don't know what to do. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like my week has been scheduled amazingly. I don't have a lot to do, but I have a lot to do. It's tax season. Stressful. It's, um, we're trying to move. Stressful. I'll get into that later. Um, or we're trying to find a place. What else? Um, still trying to stay on schedule and work on multiple platforms. Stressful. Like, I don't, <laughs> I just can't hold it together. And it's like really, really nice out. And I haven't been able to make it outside as much as I would like to. Stressful. Like, I, managing my schedule. I don't, I don't know. I'm all over the place. I have control issues. I'm a very controlling person. I like for everything to be in my control. And as of late, it hasn't felt like that. So I've just been, it's been a challenge, you know? I know I need to work through that, but it's been a challenge. I don't even know how to tell you. It's been a challenge. I've been trying to just get a grip, <laughs> okay? Get a grip, America, get a grip. Let me see if I can find my concealer, okay. Y'all already know what concealer I'm gonna use because I'm obsessed with this concealer. It's the MAC Studio Face Concealer in um, NC44. This is a 24 hour smooth wear concealer. I love this concealer. So, oh, not my nose. Told y'all the allergies are a mess. Plus I was crying, girl, like five minutes ago. <laughs> a mess. I put up a short, a, a short form video and a reel of a tour of an apartment that we were looking at. Baby, the responses. <laughs> Girl, y'all were like over it. Y'all like, what is wrong with you, girl? Okay, so if you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and put it on the page or whatever. My husband and I are looking for a new place. And I talked about this in the last Get Ready With Me, but we're looking for a new place and we're looking for a three bedroom, like three bedroom and like an extra space, but a three bedroom, three full baths place. So we looked at apartments, we're looking at townhomes. We saw a couple places that we like. Now, the short I put up, the place that we looked at was 4,600. That is above what we want to pay. But it had a lot of amenities that we liked. 
So this apartment is $4,600, but it had three bedrooms plus an extra like study, which gave it like technically four rooms for us to use three full large baths, three full large closets. And it was just like a really, really nice space. The only thing about the community, we're not really so sure about that, but um, yeah, girl, we've been looking. Oh, not me, not blending. We've been looking around for places, but it's really, really difficult. And the responses that we got online from y'all, thank you so much for your feedback. We love it. A lot of y'all was like, girl, 4,500, what are you doing by a house? Do you, you know, we're not trying to pay 4,500. Be honest with y'all. Ain't nobody trying to pay 4,500. Now, our budget may be around that, lower than that, but around that price. That's stretching it, but we're around that. And we, Technically, we could, you know, we could do that, but I mean, obviously, 4,500 just was like dragging it. But the place had most of the things that we were looking for. But if, if the place had everything that we were looking for, I think 4,500 would be like, oh, okay, you know, it would be fine for us. But um, y'all responses were over it. <laughs> most of y'all were saying buy a house, and I think we've talked about this before. I, at this point, we are not um looking to buy a home and i think some people when you hear the price of a monthly payment you may equate that to you could get a house this big i don't want a really really big house right now i don't want a house right now when we're ready to buy a house we'll buy a house there are certain things that need to be in place before we buy a house and we're not sure where we want to go. Like I said, we're not sure where we want to live. And I think that my personal opinion is that home buying is not for every phase of your life. Just because you can afford a home doesn't mean you should get up. Well, for us, just because we can afford a home doesn't mean we should just buy a home just because. There's a lot of thought I feel like needs to go into buying a home. A lot of time. A lot of investment. I just don't want to run into buying a home just because I can buy it. Just because, girl, I can. Girl, I can buy a lot of things right now. I'm not going to buy it. I understand that homes are an investment, but I think it's only a good investment if you do your research. And we haven't done our research yet. It's going to take a lot of time for us to do the research we need to do to buy our first home. We're not seasoned home buyers yet. So, um, yeah, that's why we're not buying a home yet. But because we're not buying a home and we need extra space, our price point needs to be higher. I think people are surprised how expensive Atlanta is. Atlanta's not the old girl that she used to be. Atlanta used to be the girl that you could just, you know, take it to the movies. You know what I'm saying? Get a little popcorn, a little nacho, a little Coke, little, you know, a little Coca-Cola. And she's good. She's going to the movies. No, Miss Ma'am's right now. You need to take her out to Zena, honey. You need to take her to the house, okay? You need to wine and dine her. It's an expensive city now. I lived here all my life and Atlanta didn't used to cost as much, period. But now it does. The type of place, y'all saw the place that we put up. We want it to be in a specific area. Like we want it to be in a cute happening area. So anybody trying to live, I don't want to live on the South side. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to live on the South side. We ain't got no kids, girl. I don't want to be over there. I don't want to be on the South side. I don't want to be in Marietta. I want to be, you know what I'm saying, amongst, you know what I'm saying, somewhere amongst the peoples. And if you want to do that, girl, you got to pay that price. <laughs> it's the price you got to pay. I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford bronzer and I'm actually going to use this brush. What brush is this? This is a liquid blush brush. Should I be using this? I don't know, but I'm going to use it now. I've been wanting to use a brush with this. Okay, let's dab, dab, dab and see what happens. Ooh, this a bit, ooh. <laughs> See, I shouldn't experiment because what is this about? Girl, what are we? Uh, oh, 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 I like this. This is cute. Now my battery about to die. I don't have time to be changing out batteries. I don't feel like it. So anyways, yeah, girl. So it is, and it is difficult looking for a place because of the price point that we had before Girl, I was like, girl, I'm not paying no more than, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was thinking like, I ain't gonna pay no more than like 3,500. I don't wanna, for a three bedroom, three bath, nice area, cute, you know what I'm saying? Floor to ceiling windows, all that type of stuff. I was like, oh girl, we ain't not paying no more than 3,500. Like, and that's stretching it. <laughs> then you get out there and start looking and you're like, oh, the girls are, the girls are charging money. They're charging a lot of money. And if we do find a place that we like, it gets snatched up so fast because it's hard to find people to even show us the place. 
Because people are trying to sell properties, girl. They're not trying to rent none. So you got to find the owner. You got, girl, it's just so much work. And I don't be having time for that. So, so girl, yeah, we've been just trying to figure it out. It's taking some time. But I do love y'all's feedback. But when I do get y'all's feedback, it does add a little extra lens. You know what I'm saying? Just a little extra. You know what I'm saying? But we know, we know what we want mentally. It's just can it actually produce itself in the city of Atlanta in the area that we want it to be in? Plus, oh yeah, I was talking about uh, the good thing about apartments that we like is I like being around other people. You know what I'm saying? Like I like being around in a little community. I love the amenities in the community. So I like apartments technically, but there are many three bedroom, three bath apartments in areas that we like, like there's not many of those. So we are looking at townhomes, but like I said, townhomes are taking a lot of time. So if you've had experience in Atlanta looking for townhomes, please sound off down below because my God, I've tried looking for townhomes maybe a few years ago and baby, I gave up quickly. Cause that first last girl, they be doing the first last, um, they do first last deposit. That's what they used to do years ago. I don't know if they do that now. First last deposit, going to go look at a place, all that type of stuff. It's still difficult. So I'm using a Tom Ford to contour my nose. Get that contour look on the nose. Wow. Uh huh. This Tom Ford is cute. If y'all don't know, I got it from the cosmetic company store. I tell y'all this all the time, but I'll leave a link for the store down below. I can't leave a link for the items from the cosmetic company store because girl, you have to go in store to get the stuff. I just need to blend it a little bit. Girl, this is quick. I like a little quick little makeup. Hello? I love how blendable the Tom Ford is, but yeah, I feel like we're getting closer. Like I feel like we're getting closer to finding the place that we want, but it's just, to see it like i found a few places that i like i've been hitting up some realtors so hopefully somebody gets back to me this week so we can do some more looking this weekend and we're gonna take y'all along along with us now we did see a spot recently that was stunning gorgeous beautiful finishes amazing a couple things we didn't like i don't think we're gonna go with this place um but it was like hard to record <laughs> because like you're walking around with a realtor they're like behind you it's a little bit like I do want to show y'all the places, but we need to get more comfortable with asking the realtors like, hey, can we record this place? You know what I'm saying? So mm. anyways, I need to change out this battery because the battery's blinking and it's distracting me. I have this West, what is this? Westman Atelier blush. I got this from Sephora and this is in the color Petal. I just picked it up from the, you know how you're at the checkout and you just like are sitting there and I just, girl i just picked it up it was there and i said you know what let me go ahead and get a blush i'm gonna put it on my sponge i put it on the wrong side whatever okay. blending into my cheeks it's such a beautiful blendable color like and it lays so well on my skin i'm not doing any eyeshadow today because girl it's 11:54. <laughs> What are we doing here? Okay. So yeah, girl, we're looking for places. I'm hoping we find one soon because looking is, it's not stressful. I love looking, but I'm just ready to find one. I'm ready to move on to the next chapter because this place, we're going out of this place fast, girl. We're busting through the seams. The belt done popped off. The buttons done popped off. The zipper done popped off. We busting through the seams in here. We need to get a new place. I also need to do some straightening up and some spring cleaning um, because if we want to move, I feel like I need to set us up to move. Like we need to set ourselves up to move so it's not like a mess once we do move and you're decluttering. I did kind of do a slight declutter in my cl closet, but I got a long way to go. Cause I got a whole bunch of stuff in there from working, from having a job. Girl, I ain't had no job in forever. <laughs> slacks, pants, girl, I'm not wearing slacks nowhere. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and get rid of that stuff. So this is the Black Radiance Powder in the color Golden Almond Finish. When I tell you this office, sends me into a a tizzy in my nose like oh my god it is so drying okay so i'm just gonna get under the eyes and set it and forget when i tell you like i always go back to like laura mercier translucent powder but this powder i'm sorry it reflects so well that's the reason why i love it it reflects really well and i feel like it melts into my skin 
really well. Like once my skin gets oily again, it kind of like just melts and I love that. And I'm just gonna set the whole under eyes, nose, T-zone, y'all know, the whole areas. My skin is looking tight today. <laughs> tight. Hopefully a vacation is coming soon. My birthday is coming up soon. I'll be 37. Why does my gap look like it's opening? Is it opening? We'll be turning 37, baby, officially late 30s. Cause I feel like 34 to 36 is mid 30s. 37 to 39 is late 30s. Really excited. When I tell you, I don't even feel like I have an age. Like I felt like 37 acted and looked different. I felt like 37 meant like I would have my stuff together and I don't. I don't know what is going on. Like, who dropped the ball on raising the millennials? Because I don't know what's going on. I literally don't know what's going on. It feels like I'm playing being an adult, like, real time. In real time, because what is happening? <laughs> who told me that I could be an adult right now? <laughs> it's a scam. I don't know. This is what it looks like set. Once I put this bronzer on, it's, I'm not going to look so ghastly. So for the bronzer, we're going to go ahead and use the Bobbi Brown here. Ooh, y'all already know. Every single time I come up here, I gotta talk about um, the Real Housewives girls. Horrible, horrible. Did y'all see the Real Housewives of Potomac? Horrible. I'm ready for it to be off. I think we have one more part. Giselle, I don't say it many, many times. That girl is, she is evil. <laughs> I don't like her being on the screen. That's an evil lady. Ugh. Robin had, Robin had some nerve, girl. The nerve, the gall to ask about somebody else's husband. Oh my God. While her man was traipsing through, as we speak, was traipsing through the hallways of, which, of every hotel or in motel and Holiday Inn in Potomac. It's a mess. Girl, check your elevators in the Holiday Inn. That's where he is. Robin and Giselle have not been held accountable for anything. Like, it's just a really hard watch. I love to see the girls argue. Like I said, the last time and the time before, I love to see the girls argue on these shows but i don't like when it's not like even and it's not like a re it's not realistic it looks contrived i know there's some people i think there's a couple people in my comments that said that they like giselle i still need to know why <laughs> please tell me why i don't get it her wigs are bad too you know i like a good wig her wigs are bad let me see if i can put a little bit of um something on the um put a little time forward up there Oh, does that do it? Girl, is that what I was missing out on? A nice, good, creamy bronzer? Wait a minute. It's a little dark. That's a little dark. Wait a second. I'm just taking some of my bronzer and just getting all up in that lace real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next is the brow. So I'm going to go in with... Is this the brow pencil? What color is this? Brunette. Do they have dark brunette? So I have these um, Estee Lauder um, brow pencils. Love these. So I have it in brunette and dark brunette, right? Yeah, dark brunette. I'm going to use the dark brunette. I've been liking like a lighter brow. Or I've been trying to like a lighter brow. Because I actually do like dark brows. But I feel like... A lighter brow is just a bit softer on the face, even though I want to look a, I want to look a little harsh in the brow, a little bit, but it's like softer on the face. This has like three parts too. So this is the pencil, it has the brow powder, and then it has the gel, the brow gel. I love this brow pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fill part of the pencil, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the brow. This is quite a nice invention. I don't know if I'm using it right. But I feel like it's doing something. Look at the brows. Look at the material. I did already do my brows before this. Because y'all know I don't show up on camera without doing my brows. Because y'all not going to catch me slipping. Okay. I pre-filled in my brows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I see that the um, skinny brows that we used to have back in the day done, they done came back. Which means I'm back girl which means i am the trend because i've been had thin brows so what y'all gonna say now okay i'm the trend i just need i need for thin edges to to come back and stuff 
I'ma need the jerry curls to come back. Them thin jerry curls. If that come back in style, baby. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to say nothing to me. I feel like this is really doing something. What is it? It's just like a little powder, but something about the fill-in makes the brows look more textured or something. Like it looks like I have more hairs than I actually have. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the gel. Wait, that's not the gel. The gel's on this end. The gel. And this is like a good gel, girl. My brows be end up crunchy. I'll keep filling it in. Y'all see these brows? Look how much texture they have. Oh yeah, I was telling y'all, um, well, I don't know if I told y'all this. I'm looking to get laser hair removal. Let me know down below if you've done laser hair removal. I found a spot that I would like to go to, but I am terrified. I don't know why I'm tongue tied right now. I don't know what's going on, but I found a place that I would like to go to to get my um, laser hair removal, but I'm scared, girl. Y'all let me know if you found some places, like let me know what laser hair studios you've gone to, especially you if you live in Atlanta, please let me know. Let me know your experiences because I want to go get it, but every single time it comes around for me to get it, girl, I end up at Sweet Peach, girl. Get laying on the table, getting their little hairs ripped off hair by hair. So I need to go ahead and do that. I've just been procrastinating. I've been procrastinating on so many things that I've been saying I would get done and I need to get them done. I need to get my bonding done on my teeth. Okay, girl, I got a lot, I got a lot of stuff to do. Should I do a red lip? I just want to do a red lip to be fun. Cause why not? I haven't done a red lip in a while. I've been doing the same lip that I always do. I see you in your maid outfit like you always do. Okay. Oh, this is hot mama. What type of red is this? I actually didn't know I had this. This is a lip bar lipstick in hot mama. What type of red is this? I've had this for a minute, so let's try it out. Let me start with a lip liner, like a dark lip liner. I'm a little bit nervous. Some red lips just don't look right on me. So I'm hoping this one does, because once you go red, you can never go back. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Lady Bold Too Faced lip liner. I always, I never use a red lip liner. I always use a brown because I have very, I don't think I have very thin lips. I just, they're just not as thick and juicy as I want them to look for red lips. So to make them look a little bit more pillowy, I'll go in with a brown lip. Now let's see if this red lip, oh, if hot mama is gonna be our girl. I've had this for, I think I worked with them two years ago. I work with Lip Bar for a sponsorship. I'm looking a little bright or something. What's going on with my nose? What type of contour was that? <laughs> it looks disjointed, don't it? What's going on with my nose? So she said, it's liquid matte lipstick. I do not want a shiny lip. For some reason, it don't look right on me. So this is Hot Mama. I'm a little bit nervous that Hot Mama's not gonna, you know what I'm saying? Give me what I need. But this is the Lip Bar Liquid Matte Lipstick in Hot Mama. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, this is like a summer red. Oh. I've had this color for so I've had this color for so long. Oh, this is a pretty red. Hold on. I've had this for a long time, so I hope this isn't too old. But this is the applicator. I love the applicator on lip bar. Um Lipsticks. Oh, I'm ready for it to mattify. I wonder if I can go back in with the brown. I be needing to like make the lip a little bit darker. Some red lips just, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like this is pretty, but it's a matter of time before it looks like it's about to crack a lack. But I guess it's a finished look, girl, because I don't feel like doing nothing else. <laughs> there's there's like a dimension thing I need to take care of. Hold on. I just want to make the lips like a tad bit lighter in the middle so they look a little bit poutier. Because right now they just look 
know what I'm saying? I wonder if these are lighting up the middle. That's what I'm talking about. I just need a little, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking this um, NYX blush in coral and I'm adding it to the middle of the lips and seeing it. That's kind of doing, it's kind of doing what I want it to do. I think that's better. Okay, let's put on some earrings. Yeah. Yeah, that's the lift to my day that I needed. Yeah, a little red lip, that'll do it. Okay, let's go ahead and pop on some earrings. Huh, okay. Let me spray this face down and then we're gonna go ahead and let it dry. And then I'll be back, finished look, final thoughts. I'm going in with the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and a refresh. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. Y'all tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you love it? You want some more of it? I think it's cute. Now, the hair has fallen because Yaki Straight, Kinky Straight, usually Yaki Straight holds a curl better than Kinky Straight, but it's not gonna hold a curl, but it'll hold like a little slight, like a slight little bump, bump, bump. Slight little beat 2K. That's it. <laughs> I like a red lip, but this red lip is just, there's not much dimension. But I guess it's fine, girl. I think I'm just influenced by lip plumping culture. <laughs> I'm blaming it on the culture, girl, not me. It's not my lips, my lips are fine. And the hairline is hairlining. And now that I know that my Tom Ford blends my lace like no other, oh, she's gonna be all up and through my lace. I'm gonna have to go and spend the full $90 if the cosmetic company store doesn't have it when I go back. But yeah, she ate. Oh, I didn't put an actual blush over the blush. I am tripping. I'm gonna go over my blush with this lip bar blush. Shout out to lip bar. It has a little glow to it. Oh, that's a bit much as I go in with more. I kind of did too much. I could have left well enough alone. I definitely could have left, left well enough alone, but who, who am I? Am I too good for extra makeup? No, I'm not. So this is the finished look, girl. Too much on the face, very cute. Going nowhere, staying home with a little off the shoulder shirt. Y'all tell me what you think. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Beauty Hair for providing this week to me and sponsoring this video. Let me go ahead and get up out of here, girl. I need to go ahead and rest up for tomorrow. And um, yeah, girl, it's already <laughs> almost one o'clock. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all let me know your opinions on everything that we talked about. Mostly it was more about apartments and stuff like that. So y'all let me know what you're thinking down below. Help a girl out, girl. We'll have more updates going forward. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.